Hey Cucumbers, I've got an interesting video for you guys today. I've been playing around with my new Prusa Mini Plus for the past month or so, and I've gotten to the point where I'm fairly comfortable with the machine. While I was experimenting with optimizing settings, I came across the concept of a temperature tower, which is meant to optimize the hot end printing temperature by changing the temperature of the hot end in specific increments at different Z heights. You can then see which block looks best, and the hot end temperature can be modified accordingly for future prints. When I saw this, I thought that sounded a lot like a thermocycler or PCR machine, where temperature is controlled at specific increments to replicate DNA. So I decided to try hacking my Prusa Mini Plus to function as a PCR machine. To be clear, this isn't meant to be a practical hack, I mostly did it to see if I could. And it worked. I was able to cycle between three different temperatures, just like a PCR machine would. The slowest operation seems to be cooling the hot end since that's not a normal operation for the printer. If you wanted to improve it, you could probably just stick a fan nearby to help with convective cooling. The process is actually fairly simple. If you try it yourself though, make sure to remove the filament from the extruder first. Then you'll want to load a simple 3D object into Prusa's slicer. The shape doesn't really matter, but a simple cube or cylinder like the one I used is probably easiest. Go ahead and slice the object. This will bring up a new window that shows the model height in millimeters the number of layers, and the time point at each layer. To set what I will call the PCR program, you'll have to left-click a point on the slider that corresponds to the time you want for a specific temperature. You can then right-click on the little plus icon that appears and click on the custom G-code option. The code that you need to enter is M109, which tells the printer to set a temperature for the hot end and wait for the temperature to be reached before proceeding. This code is followed by R, and the temperature that you want to set. It's important to use R instead of S in this case, since it forces the printer to wait while the hot end cools to the target temperature. S only pauses if the temperature is below the target temperature. In a typical PCR program, you would cycle between 95C, 60C, and 72C to let the polymerase copy the target DNA. I actually go into a bit more depth in one of my previous videos, so if you're interested in PCR, definitely check that out as well. Since this was a proof of concept, I only made one PCR cycle, but you can easily see how to repeat this multiple times to get a working PCR program. Obviously, if I wanted to turn this into a more useful feature, I would make it so that the program could easily change the temperatures and time parameters without having to manually edit each one individually. But like I said before, this is just a proof of concept. I might do that in the future, since I think it should be a fairly simple G-code program. So if you'd like to see that, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. And for anyone who watched all the way through this video to the very end, I have an extra bonus for you. I also turned the Prusa Mini Plus into an incubator with just two lines of code. M190 R37, which sets and waits for the bed temperature to reach 37C. Then G4 S60, which is a pause command set for 60 seconds. You can change the timer to be as long as you want. I just did 60 seconds since it was a test. And that's it. That's all you need to turn the Prusa Mini Plus into an incubator. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.